Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we are going to introduce about our working keypad system. It's upgraded version and scenario of our project for this week. Uh, we worked on this system and now our teammates will try to explain the working condition of the keypad system. Let's guys. Uh, <coughs> Sadar will explain our uh, cause. Uh, I will explain uh, our mobile application and hardware system. Uh, this is our uh, mobile uh, app for our pent system. Uh, you, if you enter, there is a, a, a f four tabs. Oh, there is a light. It's unvisible somehow. Uh, here, it's okay. Uh, here, as you can see, here is four tabs. And this tab is for our keypad and phone uh, to uh, unlock the door. Uh, this one is uh, remotely lock and unlock the door. This one is ask a randomly number to input our keypad. If the, uh, it matches in our code, it will open the door automatically. Uh, here you can see a streaming camera uh, tab. Uh, uh, this week uh, we will work on streaming page and this other uh, tabs is for another subject uh, here uh, our keypad uh, keypad uh, and this is solar motor for uh, open the door here we connected uh, around uh, 11 pins to control the system for now uh, let's uh, start or continue Okay, so let's look at our coding part. First of all, we need to open the folder with our codes. So actually, uh, we planned to use Python, but uh, we decided to use uh, JavaScript, and we are connecting Java. We are calling a Python class from JavaScript. JavaScript. So, okay. first let's look at our code and after we will run our code. So, simply it's our JavaScript code. Uh, as you can see, it's our uh, Blink uh, special IP address. We, are, we, are, we, we use it in order to kind of connect our Raspberry Pi to our mobile application. And here we are calling Python code. Yeah, here, here we are calling Python class. Uh, uh, this is direction of that that uh, file, and we are asking to get uh, random gener uh, random numbers, uh, which includes four digits. So this is, and after uh, we mix it like door door uh, smart door lock distance distance locking and. Our a random number generator and it's in one app right now. So let's run our code. Now it works. Uh, as you can see uh, here, there are two buttons. Firstly, lock. When you press lock, yeah. you you get digit one. Mm -hmm. uh, it means it's locked now. And you get notification on your mobile phone. Door door is locked. So and after you can press unlock, and you, again you get notification. And this button helps us to get a random number from our Raspberry Pi. We got four digits, and here on display we got four digits too. And now. I want to ask Hobblejohn to input that four numbers. One, nine, two, seven. Okay. One, nine, nine two, two, seven. seven. Ah, it's not matching. Because uh, this keypad is not uh, fixed to the table. So when I press the button, it sometimes pre uh, press it two times. Yeah. Let's try one more time. So actually, it's keypad problem, and we we need to fix it. And we is uh, it should be 
Mm, Except hard. to the part of the hard uh, yeah. layer, yes. Yeah, it should be hard. Now it's like kind of soft, and mm. when you press one time, it uh, they, it press two or several times. But, uh, let's try another time. Yeah. Now uh, it generates another randomly number, which is not uh, match, uh, which is not uh, the same with, with an old, one, uh, yes. old one. Yeah. Uh, now it's eight one one zero. Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah. And you you can same numbers on your um, Raspberry Pi. Uh, eight, eight one one, one zero. zero. Now it's matched. Here also you can see notification. Door has been unlocked. And also in the coding part. Door has been unlocked. Yeah, matched. So in order to be sure, we need to check it one more time, and we we want to show it. We just will lock the door, and we need we want to unlock the door. Let's ask one more time. Yeah. It generates another yeah. random number two nine five four. Okay. Two, two nine five, five four. four. Yeah, now it's it matched and door is unlocked. Here also notification. Yeah, matched and here also you door can has been notification and locked. Yeah. So finally, that's all that we did for the last week and now we are working on mobile application and connecting that mobile application to our streaming camera. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.